NFL Combine is uh, in the books, and we are now T-minus 10 weeks, 70 days, and 1,680 hours away from the NFL draft. So let's welcome in Pete Futek, our managing editor, and Doug Chapman. Chapman joins me here at the desk. And let's forget Johnny Manziel and Jadavion Clowney, guys. And Pete, I'm going to ask you to state your case why the Texans should take the Buffalo's Khalil Mack with the number one overall pick. What do you got? Well, because he might just be the best player in the in the draft. Here's the problem. There isn't an Andrew Luck in this draft. There isn't even a Cam Newton. Blake Bortles, Teddy Bridgewater, Johnny Manziel, they're all okay. But the biggest key here is that the Houston Texans head coach is Bill O'Brien. He's a quarterback's coach. In 2001, the San Diego Chargers had a similar situation. Had the number one overall pick, could not figure out a deal with uh, uh, Michael Vick, so they traded down the Atlanta Falcons took Damian Thompson with a fifth pick, and the first pick in the second round, they end up getting Drew Brees. Houston can do the same thing. You take Khalil Mack, who looked like a man among boys out there at the Combine. He is bigger, stronger, quicker than all the other linebackers. Use him as a pass rusher, use him inside, use him wherever you want to use him. He just might be the best overall player in this draft. And then assume that O'Brien, a great quarterback teacher who made Mack McGloin into a pro quarterback, you can take an A.J. McCarron. You can take a Jimmy Garoppolo. You know, you can take another quarterback in that first pick in the second round. There will be guys like Derek Carr there. There will be guys there to play around with. Get the best player possible early. Get your quarterback later. Can you imagine if the number one overall pick came from the MAC two years in a row? We can make history. All right, Doug, I know you like Sammy Watkins a lot. Why do you think he should go number one? Yeah, I like Khalil Mack, but I want impact with the number one player. And to me, Matt Shaw at the Houston Texans is not broken. So you don't need to go get a quarterback with the number one pick. In 06, the Houston Texans had this issue where there was Reggie Bush, Vince Young, and Mario Williams were the guys that they were picking from. They went with Mario Williams. The Saints get Reggie Bush. Now, when the Saints got in Bush was instant offense, three to five years down the road, Mario Williams paid off. They got a little bit of ROI. But if I'm Houston, I want ROI right now. you got a top ten defense. You don't need defensive help. You need help at players that can score points. You can put Watkins out. He may not know the entire offense but he can get open and help you score points. Andre Johnson is going into his 12th NFL season. He'll be 33 years old opening Sunday in the NFL. He doesn't have much left on the, on the tires, and he's also come out and said he's a little bit displeased with the situation there, may not be there. Restructure Matt Schaub's dear deal. You don't, need, you don't even need to go in the second round. They have the 33rd pick. Go get a D lineman. You can get an Aaron Murray, a Mettenberger, a McCarron. They'll be there later in the third round. You don't need a quarterback first. Get Watkins. You got running backs. You've got defense. You got a solid O-line. Matt Schaub, get him back to 2012. Get Sammy Watkins to score points. I want some ROI on my number one pick. Here's the problem with that, Doug, though. Sammy Watkins only has four or five speeds. So when he's chasing the defensive backs the other way after Matt Schaub throws those pick sixes like he's been doing the last year and a half, that's going to be a problem. You got the Andre Hopkins there. Okay, Andre Johnson's not 157 years old. They still have offense. Go defense. Shore that thing up. You got J.J. Watt. You got a real strong defensive front. They'll end up going clowny to have a dynamic pass rushing duo from the outside. But again, Khalil Mack he might be the best overall player in this draft. Go with him. Just take the best guy. Find your needs elsewhere. You go get Watkins, pair him back up with Hop Hopkins. You get Tate and you get Foster in that at the running back position. You slow the game down. Don't ask Shaw to throw the ball 30 times. Slow it down, turn around, hand the ball off, run the stretch play. Foster will be back from the back injury. But you got to know, there's not much left in Andre Johnson. He may have two more years left in the NFL. One more year left with Houston. You get Sammy Watkins, who I think is the best wide receiver coming out of the draft. He's fast. He has great hands. He's been productive every time he's been healthy. And he's one of those guys that's very nasty on the field. We watched versus Georgia last year. He caught a slant through the middle of the field, put his shoulder down, took it the distance. He's got breakaway game speed. I don't care what the 4-5 on the clock said. Numbers don't lie when you look at his production. Take him number one overall. You don't need the help on defense. Get a guy that can score some points. You restructure Matt Schaub. He's not broken. Stay with him. Run the ball. You got a great D. Houston was 12-4 two years ago. They had a down year last year. They can beat Kansas City. How Kansas City turned it around in one year if they make the right pick with number one. The last time a receiver was taken as the number one overall pick was Keyshawn Johnson in 1996. It's How been about a while. that? It's been you a while. You weren't even born yet, Shay. I, I was born. I was 10. <laughs> thank you. All right, Pete Futek, thank you very much. Doug, great stuff.